We just made these three tabletop games of skill. Easy, easier, and easiest. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build and make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into the gaming business. A little back deck casino. <laughs> That's not true, we don't even have a deck. <laughs> <laughs> but we are making three easy games. Yes. Actually, sun is shining, we want to get outside, host some parties on a deck that we don't have. <laughs> Last year we did some backyard games, they were larger games. Big games. Yeah. This year we're going to bring it over to the deck and do some tabletop games. Tiny tabletop. I think these are good projects for summertime and Father's Day is coming up. They might be good projects for Father's Day. So we thought we'd show you some new tabletop games. Yep, just three uh, quick games you can make in minutes. So we're doing a, a hook and ring toss, just a ring toss, and then a quarter toss. toss. Are they all tosses? Yeah, now that you say that, they are. Every, we're tossing, it's triple toss. <laughs> triple threat toss. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's getting tossed. <laughs> yeah. Project one, step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. I really just needed a cutting board that I picked up from Ross. I already started engraving it. A two by two by three foot, like two inch by two inch by three foot. Some hooks. I got these really cool coat hooks. Some rings. I got these beefy rings. And then I got a beer opener. Or bottle opener. <laughs> bottle opener. Freudian slip. And some string. And for mine, I we actually were gonna make one game, but we now turned it into a versus challenge. Challenge. Game on, Kim. <laughs> I was trying to do it no cuts. I think we could do this no cuts, but for my post I was gonna use this 18 inch candlestick and Garrett was not loving the candlestick idea. No. He felt like it wasn't masculine masculine enough, but I think it'll be fine. It's just it's white and once I paint it it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna look good. So I'm just gonna use Two boards that came from Hobby Lobby for my base. One is 9 by 12 and one is 7 by 9 and I'm going to stack them and then I'm going to use the candlestick as my post and I'm going to use this pre-cut 18 inch board. This one also came from Hobby Lobby and this is 18 inches and this is going to be the topper. And I'm also using rings and, and then this was an option for our hooks. So this is his hook because he's got a one-up me. This is my hook. It's called a screw hook, which is great, except it's super tiny. So we'll just have to see how these work out. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you said, I'm sharing the string. Share string. Step two, uh, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I really just need to make one cut. I'm gonna cut this jam in half, 18 inches. So I have two 18 inch pieces at two by two. And technically I don't have to make any cuts, but as we started putting this together, <laughs> I see that Garrett has already started working on his right. and he has a place to kind of keep score. And with my version, I don't really have a place to keep score. So I have this little piece of peg left over from my pegboard over there. And I think what I'm gonna do is use my little Forestner bit and drill five holes so I can move this peg up and down the board to keep score. So no cuts, but some dimples. A little drilling. Some little drilling. A little drilling. Well, I'm gonna make all of my cuts with my best friend, friend of the show, Pocket Saw. <laughs> he's a little dusty. Yeah, he's born out this side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He showed up on the set sick. <laughs> You're gonna have to go with a one inch. It's a one incher. So I was planning to center my bases like this. But I think I can push it all the way over to the side, leaving just a small little section of trim. And then we'll have just a little spot over here where I can drill these holes. So I'll let you do it so I can yell at you. Oh, you're gonna let me do it. Yeah. 
Well, do you want to draw a placement? Oh, yeah. Let me... Or am I just winging it? I'm no, going in! No, you're right. I got a little ahead of myself. Let me mark... Let me find out what five even spaces are. So we're going in about... What is that? Half an inch? A quarter inch? Third of an inch. What's... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, does it fit? Yeah, does it fit? Ooh, like a glove. Yeah, but like too much like a glove? No. No, I think that works. Yeah. That's great. Now, like I said, if you just want to make it a friendly game of tossing the ring and you don't really want to keep score. Who does that? Like Gary and I are super competitive. <laughs> and we always keep score. <laughs> yes. So I got a little ahead of myself, and when we were playing on the project, I threw this in the Glowforge and started to cut out the instructions and the place where you can put your tiny glass not intended for liquor. <laughs> All right, I'm going to find the center of the board and put a pilot hole in there. Well, a hole. So it's just putting an X in where they intersect, that's the center, if you measure from corner to corner. Alright, found the center on uh, my 2x2 two two and my cutting board. Now I need to put a hole in. Step three, and now we stain. I'm using this early American, and I'm just staining these pieces. I'm not staining my uh, cutting board. Yeah, and hopefully they'll semi-match. Yeah, kind of match. And I'm using dark walnut to stain my baseboards and my top board. And then I'm going to add, add a little antiquing wax to my candlestick. Oh, the dark wax? Yes. Okay. All right, all right. You feel me? I feel you now. I can see where it's going. You picking up what I'm putting down? I, yeah, I am. Right behind you. to use the antiquing wax our country chic antiquing wax it's got a brown tint to it hopefully to match this coffee no I didn't use coffee I used dark walnut but look how dark it is it almost looks like that coffee color anyway dark walnut now I'm gonna see if I can add a dark tint to this really bring the color down on this thing yeah looking good already All right, here we go. I'll give you a close up so you can see how it got in all the cracks. It looks really cool. Yeah, that came out really cool. It definitely looks different now with the wax on it. Step four. Mm, now we're gonna assemble it. I'm just gonna make a T out of mine. I put a hole in my cutting board already and I put a hole in the top of this thing. I'm just gonna glue it and screw it with a two and a half inch nail. Top and bottom. And, oh, oh, and then I'll be adding my hooks. Then the string. Then the win. Then I'll be gathering all the crowd cheers. So great. Boom, practically done. Can <laughs> we just finish mine now? Yeah, we can just finish yours if you want. We'll just finish mine. Well, let's get to that. We'll, we'll get yours going. All right. I think the string and stuff is gonna be a whole other thing. It's gonna be a whole string thing. It's its own thing. Is this where it's going right here? Yeah, that you can just eyeball. That doesn't, yeah.
we're gonna use these tiny little eye hooks up underneath. Tiny little eye hooks. And that's what they're called, right? Yep. They're half inch screw, screw eyes. eyes. And we're gonna put them right up under here to hold our string. String. Now we do the string. I just measured from the hook to the corner of my thing for now. All right. Do you know a fancy? Do you know a fancy knot? Do again, I know a fancy knot? Yeah. Again, you were in the navy. <laughs> I feel like you should know all the cool knots. I know, like. No, I don't. I don't know any knots. I don't know any names of the knots. I am not your guy for knots. Let me just maybe put my hooks on now before I finish my string. Yeah, you need to know exactly where your hook is going to sit. I'm gonna set my ring on the hook and then tie the, the knot. Project's done now. Look at that. Look at the fuck that I suck at this game. Me. A game number two. Ring toss. It's like a wall ring toss, but we're gonna try to make it a little unique. Step number one. We're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really needed just a big 24-inch round, and then like all kinds of different hooks. A little hook here, a little hook here, a little hook there, a big hook here, some kind of knob. So you can use these screw hooks and they're just like a 90 degree hook on the back. I can show you those, I'll take it out of the package. But we thought we would just give this one a little more flair and we just got a variety. Something like you'd hang in like a bar area. Yeah, we just wanted to make it with some interest. Now this is just as fun and way cheaper than the method that we're using with these different hooks. But I thought it would have a kind of a cooler look to yeah, it. Yeah, like a little unique, like, hey, what's that? Little conversation piece. Yeah, exactly. What's that junk hanging on your wall? Yep, and then we're gonna add some vinyl numbers underneath of these because that's how you're gonna score it. So yep. we'll do it one step at a time. And then I got some rings, because I'm thinking I'm gonna throw these big metal rings on here. Kim's gonna use some rope. Yeah, I don't think you can use that. I don't think you can use those rings. I totally think you can use these rings. Now we're gonna use, we're gonna make rings out of this, what is it, 3 8 inch rope. Like horsehair rope. That's what we're gonna use as the ring toss. I'm not even sure yours will fit over that knob. Oh, it'll just have, that'll have to be like a 50 pointer. <laughs> like bullseye, we should put it right in the middle. Boom, bullseye. Try to hit it. And then these are, this uses 13 hooks. You're gonna put them around the outside and in the center. Like that, two we'll trailer park that. girls. Step two. Well, Woo, now we stain. I wanted to say paint, but we're gonna stain. Yes, for this one we're gonna use a classic gray. I'm trying to keep a, a lighter stain color than the others. Ooh, that might be too light. Oh no. All right, we're gonna switch it up actually. I'm gonna use briar smoke. 
It just looks like it's dirty. Yeah. Step three, and now we add all the hooks. 13 hooks. Now it seems like a bad sign. <laughs> All right, hooks. the way they go, and we're gonna have to figure out how to do this, is you put them around the outside, you know, as I researched how to do this. And then one goes, I don't know where that goes. Must be goes in here, must be goes. Must be goes. Step four, and now we have the exits. <laughs> <laughs> it's really just putting the numbers on the board and we're cutting the numbers out of this smart vinyl using the Cricut Joy. Yeah. And Kim's phone. For this ring toss game, I'm gonna use these big two inch rings. I think they're like uh, easy and manly. I think they're too small and it'll be hard to throw. I think it makes it more difficult. So I'm going to make these rope rings. I'm going to use this, what did I say it was? I forgot. Three, it was like three eighths. Three eighths inch rope. Yep, and like I'm just coarse. gonna I'm, I don't have any other way to like shrink wrap it together, so I'm just gonna duct tape them. So I'm just gonna use a little piece of this. It's about 15 inches. It makes the square around five inch. I mean the square. Makes wow, the, what kind of rope are you using? <laughs> it makes the ring, the circle about five inches. So I'm just going to loop it over and wrap it up. Oh yeah, well that's pretty strong duct tape too. I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can. All right. Oh, yeah. And I'm just gonna open my package. <laughs> Get on your close up of this. All right, I'm gonna hold it I'm up. I'm done. You, you toss yours. All right. And then you can toss mine. Okay. And then you tell me which seems to be easier. All right, I'll go for nine. All right. Oh, it was on and off. All right, <laughs> I'll try yours. <laughs> You're mad about myself. <laughs> going for two. Ah! <laughs> All right, here, you try. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're, let, let, maybe let they're let just effective. My, let me finish my rings. Okay. <laughs> wow, they're just a bit harsh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here. You can try. Okay, okay. Well, it's leaning back, so yeah. I thought yeah. I'd help you out. I feel like you're going to chip a tooth. I feel, like, I feel like you're gonna chip a tooth. Alright, yours doesn't seem as, as aggressive as mine, and I don't feel like I'm gonna. Oh! Oh, left me hanging. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Game at number three a little quarter toss. And uh, this one's a super simple, it is the easiest one of them all. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed this quarter inch piece of poplar. It's a five by 36. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. It's like two cuts. We're gonna measure down 11 inches. So a cornhole board is like two foot by four foot. 
So it's just one by two. So if this is five and a half inches, we're just gonna measure it let down 11 inches, double. Do, 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 do. 11 inches, and then we'll give another two inches, and that'll be its feet. And then we're gonna make two of these? Yes. All right, let's flip over, do the other side. 11, and the feet. I think we should make all of these cuts with... <laughs> oh. <gasps> Pocket, where are you? Where he lives, which is over there. <laughs> he doesn't always live right underneath the table. <laughs> We'll panic. All right, we're gonna put a hole in the board. We're gonna use a one and five eighths inch Forstner bit because that's what we had. But I think it's like regulation is an inch and a quarter. Regulation quarter toss? Regulation quarter toss, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna measure two and a half inches down from the top. Doo -doo. And then just hit it in the middle, five and a half inches. Is that two and three quarters? Mm -hmm. Right about there. Yep. And we'll mark this one. And I'm, I'm gonna place this, I'm gonna place the good board on a bad board so the Forstner bit doesn't blow out the sides. Ooh, I think I'm gonna tape it too. Let's tape it. Step three. Now we stain. We're gonna use uh, this dark stuff again. Dark walnut coming in dark. assemble it. We're just gonna run a little bead of glue down the little foot and then tack it together with a 5 8 inch brad. <laughs> the nail, not the guy. <laughs> that was too long. That too was too long. long. <laughs> one are you making which one do you think you'll be the best at that's the one you got to make whichever it is not this one I know you're thinking that hook and ring thing looks easy it it's is not. not as easy as you would think definitely not as easy as you think I think the quarter toss is the easiest game to make and to play easily uh, this is actually really fun. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, this is going in our like bar area Yeah, so let us know what you think Our 60,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up soon. We just passed 55,000 and we're on our big push to 60,000 So please like and share our video and we'll be looking to give away what? A pocket saw and a brad nailer. How would you like your own pocket saw and your own brad nailer? So please enter, look for our, our communications for how to enter coming soon. And we're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. All right, I'll go in with the big guy. Let's start with the big guy. All right, seriously, that thing is gonna do some damage if you drop it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna hook somebody in the face. Woo.
It's not bad. It's not bad. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's not bad. It's heavy. 